So far we've dealt with constant forces, but now let's think about what happens when the force varies. So if the force varies, you have to use an integral is basically the short answer. So the work is the integral from some initial position to some final position. There's your displacement, initial to final, of the force dotted with some differential change, some differential displacement. Okay? This is not a new formula for the work. This is just a more general formula for the work. The one we had before, F dot delta R displacement, was when the force is constant. If the force varies, you've got to do a bunch of little delta Rs and add them up. That's what an integral is. Right? So the best uh, introductory way to show this is the mass on the spring. So let's imagine we have a spring here and uh, it's coiled up and compressed and pushing on a block and everything is frictionless. So the block is going to feel a spring force like that. Pushing it this way because the spring's natural length is there. When this position is here, the spring is natural length, no forces we've pulled back. We know F equals minus Kx, so it's going to push that way. So as the spring pushes the block from one position to another, let's calculate the work it does on the block. All right, so to do that, we need the force of the spring. Let's do full uh, units here. Let's do full coordinate system, y, z, x, y, z, as usual. In the x direction, what is the force? According to Hooke's law for forces, it's minus k times the x position. It's really x minus, or it's the displacement from the natural length, but I put the natural length at the origin. So we just call it minus k times x. Uh, plus 0, j hat plus 0, k hat. We don't really need those. This is obviously one dimensional, but we'll be complete. So we have f, we need dr. So dr. You can really just think of as the differentials in each dimension. Right? It might move a little dx i hat. It might move a little bit of motion in the j hat dy plus dz k hat. So we've brought in those other differentials, but when we take the dot product, they're going to go away. All right, so because we are care, we care about f dot dr. All right? So f dot dr gone, gone. You know these are zero, zero. It's really just minus kx dx. Don't need the unit vectors anymore because we took a dot product. Uh, there you go. So now we just do our integral. The work equals the integral, and we need limits. So let's see, we're going to talk about the work as the spring pushes it to here, because then that's all it's going to push it. Then it'll fly away. The spring will do whatever it wants to do. If it has no mass, it'll stop or keep going. We want to think about uh, the work from here to here. So let's say it starts out at uh, the position uh, minus d. All right, we're going to push it through a distance d. So it starts at minus d and pushes to 0. So initial to final. It started at minus d and pushed to 0 of minus kx dx. All we got to do. Then you have to know how to integrate. So vector-based or physics-based calculus, hopefully you know how to integrate that. It is equal to minus 1 half kx squared evaluated from minus d to 0, which we plug in 0, we get 0, minus we plug in minus d, minus d squared is d squared, so minus of minus 1 half kd squared. And of course that becomes positive to 1 half kd squared the work that the spring did on the uh, object. Right? So notice, it's not just the force kx times the displacement d. Right? That would be uh, kdd or something, kd squared. Right? The half shows up because it's an integral, because the force was big, but then as you add it up, the force is less and less. The work it's doing is less and less, so the half shows up. In general, if you wanted to write this and really not do a specific case of a limit, you could also write it this way. You could say the work of a spring on a mass, you could say it's just 1 half k x final squared minus 1 half k x initial squared, if you define those positions with respect to 
the rest length of the spring where the forces are zero, then you could always find one that way.